The flag folding ceremony is a time honored tradition that symbolizes his rise through the ranks, but most importantly, it represents his love for a nation that he so proudly served. And to the family, Mrs. Thomas, and all the friends that are gathered here today, we the people of the United States Special Operations Command would like for you to know that we believe that if this flag could speak, these are the words that it would say. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present Old Glory. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over the great institutions of learning. And I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident, I am brave, I am proud, and I am ready. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is held a little higher, and my colors are a little truer. Except for my God, I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am sovereign. I am saluted. I am respected. I am honored. I am loved. And yet I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Some of these battles include Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Aragon Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Korea, Saigon, Kisan, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and scores of other places long forgotten by all. Except those that were there with me, I know because I was there. I led my special operations forces in the quiet of the night and at the tip of the spear. I saw them fight fearlessly throughout the globe every day of the year. I watched over them even during the casualties of Desert One. They loved me and now they are the fighting force that you see. I was on a small hill, Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, tired. But my soldiers and my sailors, my airmen, my coast guardsmen, my marines, they cheered me and I was so very proud. I was at Ground Zero in New York City on September the 11th when cowardly fanatics attacked America. I was raised from the ashes of once proud buildings by brave firefighters. These were heroes who risked their lives to save others, showing all that America, although bloodied, will never be beaten because those who would destroy me cannot win. For I am the symbol of freedom of one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have been soiled, I've been burned, torn, and trampled on in the streets of my own country. And when it is done by those whom I have served with in battle, it hurts. But hear me today when I say, I shall overcome because I am strong. I have slipped the surely bonds of earth and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. And I have been that silent witness to all of America's finest hours. But my finest hour comes when my stripes are torn into strips to be used as bandages to cover the wounds of my fellow comrades who are on the field of battle. And also, when I fly at half mass, to honor my soldiers and my sailors, my airmen, my coast guardsmen, and my marines. But most importantly, when I'm placed into the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the gravesite of her fallen son or her fallen daughter, I'm so very proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wave, dear God. Long may I wave. 